It is the sixth day of the largest ever protest in Romania since 1989. <laughs> Romanians are in the street against an ordinance that could free thousands of officials in jail for corruption. Even if the ordinance seems to be abrogated, the protests go on. Romanians protest against corruption and politicians' contempt towards the people from too many years. To increase government transparency to protect their rights. It's a fight in defense of democracy. the solidarity feeling united through their desire for a better world without corruption. Increase government transparency to protect their rights. It's a fight in defense of democracy. <laughs> protesters were out in record numbers on Sunday evening. To those fight against the new government which protect corruption politicians, join those who fight against the possible corruption acts of the President Johannes, who has trials regarding some houses in Sibiu, and one of the questions asked by many people was, where can a school teacher find money to buy those houses? During the former manifestation, the president was also accused of breaking the constitution, joining to the protesters against his own government. So, the protests from Victoria Square are coupled by those from Kotrochen Palace, which is the official residence of the president of Romania. The protesters from Kotrochen are supporting the democratic election and they consider that the government must be led to work. But, above all, both the protesters in front of the presidential palace and those in front of the government are fighting for democracy and respect for human rights and human dignity. Here is a modest people from Europe's periphery that gives an Europeanism lesson a Europe identity lesson towards other most ancient and proud that began to detach themselves from the European idea. There is a people who shows that it can find from the button to up with the elite and political class that stands in the way of European aspirations. Romanians are able to show from the street to the whole of Europe that beyond of nationalism and ethnicities there is something that can, from the bottom to up, spontaneously sustain the unity and common European identity. It would be the first massive public movement from the bottom to up in these conditions that would affirm a message like this in the street spontaneously.